Hi everybody, as all of you know that we are continuing one playlist of Google Cloud Associate Engineering exam. So guys, before this we have already published 10 videos and one practice set. So I request all of you to watch those 10 videos and practice the question that we have covered in practice test. So guys, in this video we are going to cover the topic that is load balancer. After that we will discuss some questions based on those topic and at the end of this playlist we will do one practical which will cover all the concepts. So guys, Guys, load balancer topic is quite complex and deep so in this video what we are trying to do is we are just trying to give you the concept through which you can easily solve the questions but this topic is important because if you look at the GCP exam previous question in all of the sets they have asked either one or two question on this topic that's why I have tried my best to explain this topic in very brief with the help of questions so guys if you look at the load balancer so what is load balancer so it will distribute the traffic according to the load on different VM instances okay so guys let's see different type of load balancer so the first one is HTTPS load balancer so HTTPS load balancer supports HTTPS traffic with SSL termination ability please remember this point that HTTPS load balancer supports HTTPS traffic with SSL termination ability they are going to ask question on this line straight away the next topic is SSL proxy load balancer it is not recommended for HTTPS traffic. Let's say if they are going to ask one question on HTTPS load balancer, then they will say that this service will use HTTPS traffic. So in that case, you can eliminate SSL proxy load balancer because it is not recommended for HTTPS traffic. Okay. Now the next one is internal TCP load balancer. So similar to SSL proxy, it will also do not support HTTPS traffic and it will also not support external HTTPS traffic. So guys, let's solve some question. You can see here, you have an instance group that you want to load balance. You want the load balance to terminate the client SSL connection. The instance group is used to sub a public web application over HTTPS. What should you do? You can see here we have studied HTTPS load balancer supports HTTPS traffic and it supports with SSL termination ability and the same question have been asked you can see here you want the load balance to terminate the client SSL connection also it is using HTTPS so obviously option B option C and option D will be eliminated option that is left is configure using HTTPS load balancer. Now let's move to the next question. You can see here you have an application that receives SSL encrypted TCP traffic on port 443. Clients for this application are located all over the world. You want to minimize the latency for clients which load balancing option will you use. So here internal TCP load balancer will not be the answer because here they are saying that you are using the client all over the world okay you can see here they are saying that you want to minimize latency for the clients so whenever they are going to use the term minimize latency then in that case you should use network load balancer so the answer will be network load balancer so guys i've tried my best to cover all the concepts of load balancer and i'm sure that this much information about load balancer is enough to clear the exam 